When it comes to problem like problems like these, it's 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 a matter of of organization, uh, when to move things, um, and and there's not necessarily a a mandated time where something has to be moved. For example, this uh, I, w I would look at this and and say you've got a couple little negatives in here that probably need to be moved. Uh, why to the negative first power means that that should move up at some point because there's nothing else you can do with it except make the negative a positive. And, and to do that, to change a negative exponent to a positive exponent, you've got to tra transfer, transfer it transfer it from the denominator to the numerator. So it's no longer y to the negative first on the bottom, but it's y to the first on top. This thing here, raised to the negative second power, let's take the entire thing, move it down here, and now it's a 2x to the positive second power. But we need to make sure that we have adjusted Okay, so uh, I would say we should rewrite this. This is a y, well, yeah, that's y to the fifth and y to the first. There's nothing else that's going to happen to that. All the positives and negatives are, all the negatives are done. So this becomes y to the sixth power up top because you add those exponents now that they're both positive. Um, you look at this down here, there's, there's a 2x cubed, but there's also a 2x quantity squared. This thing here has to be simplified to be 4 x squared. So now I have a 4x squared down here. I still have that 2x cubed. The 2 times the 4 is equal to an 8. And the x cubed times x squared is going to be x to the fifth power. And that's, that's the simplified form. Of it. it's, it, there's a lot to keep track of. It, but it's not just a, a, a one and done type of thing. You've got to do, you've got to move this, you've got to take care of that, you've got to keep track of the other thing. Um, you know, something like this, uh, number, number 14. Um, you've got a lot of negative things here to be, that, to be moved. This thing has to be moved, and I'll see all the time people will just think that's a 2x to the negative second power, but, but that's different than what we just saw here. The parentheses are not around the 2, so the 2 remains where it is. This thing is what has to move downstairs. So call it an x squared once we get it down here. But it's, it's gone from there. The 2 is still up here. Um, well, and obviously, we've got to move this. We've got to move this guy and that guy. They can both, they can basically switch places. So now you've got a y to the first up top because we moved that. And you've got a y to the fifth because we moved that. And then unfinished business here is this 2 to the third, which is 8 and x to the third, which obviously is x to the third. So now I've got 8x to the third, x squared, and y to the fifth on the bottom. I've got this 2 still on top. I'm going to rewrite everything that I have so far. I've got a 2y to the first on top. And I've got this 8, and i got x to the third, x to the squared. Together, that's going to give me an 8x to the fifth power. But I've still got this y to the fifth on the bottom. So what else can I reduce? Well, that becomes 1 over 4. This is gone, taking 1 away from here. And that's it. i got to show that I've still got something left up on. I mean, all that's gone, but I still have a 1 on top to show that everything else is on the bottom. So then I've got the 4, I've got the x to the fifth, and I've got the y to the fourth power. Um, I think well, at least one other one, I mean here, you can reduce this stuff first. I would maybe recommend that. That's a 1, that's a 3. That's gone, and this is reduced to a 2. Uh, this is gone, that's reduced to a 3. So again, I would say this is y cubed, this is a 3, and an x squared, but now it's to the second power. Squaring everything now will give you your final answer. And then, uh, uh, well, yeah, something like this, x to the third to the fifth, that's x to the fifteenth, okay, if we're simplifying as we go. Um, don't forget that three is to the third power, that's a twenty-seven, but then it's an x to the twelfth, and then a y to the tenth. Now that that y is gone, leaving you with uh, only nine left. Um, all twelve of these are gone. 12 of these are gone, leaving us with only 3. And then the 3 and the 27 become a 1 over 9. So again, keeping track of what's left 
All I have left on top is a 1 and an x to the third power. So x cubed over my 9 is left here, and it looks like I have a y to the ninth power.